What's up today, my wonderful family? Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Devotions with Demarcus. Let's get right into the word today. Today we are in Psalm chapter 62, verse 5, and it reads, Let all that I am wait quietly before God. Now that's powerful. You see that word quietly? Hey, that word that powerful, man. Quietly. Too often we want to talk so much. When was the last time we took the time to just listen to God? All right, but let's get back to the word though. It says, let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in him. You see that? My hope is in him. Today I have a question for you. Who is your hope in? A lot of us, listen, we put all of our hope in the world, right? We put all of our hope in a person or in a job, in a career, in, in, in this, in that. People got their hope in all these different things. But my question for you is, is your hope in the Lord? Now, you may ask yourself, well, what is hope? See, hope is a confident, favorable expectation. Okay? It's an expectation. Right? A confident, favorable one. So that means when you put your hope in the Lord, see, it gives you something to look forward to. Because God will never fail you. All right? And what I mean by he will never fail you is, you know, don't give God a deadline to do something. Many people say, man, the Lord better answer. I'm about to pray. If the Lord don't answer me in 10 minutes, then... Then I'll just know that that's a sign. No, you don't command God and tell God what to do. You understand what I'm saying? You don't dictate anything. It says right here, you let all that I am wait quietly before the Lord because my hope is in him. Allow God to have his way. See, we have to master the skill to be still. Too often we want to be way too busy, but sometimes we need to just lay at his feet, y'all. And say, Lord, my hope is in you. I trust that you're working it out. All right, that's what we got to do. I also wrote right here, trying to get a little better at taking notes, you know what I mean? Because my mind be in 10 different places and I'll make a 50 minute video. So I'm trying to be more diligent, you know what I'm saying? Let me make sure my mic on. Oh yeah, it's coming to the green light. Man, one time I was recording, I did so many videos, I looked down, that mug was red. Let's get back to the video though, see how I get sidetracked. Yeah, we talked about the skill to be still. I also got right here, there is a beauty in being still. Why is that? Because it's challenging. Naturally, we want to get up. We want to do stuff. You know, we want to do this. We want to do that. We want to work out, right? We want to, uh, uh, you know, we hungry, right? Now we're looking for what we're going to eat. Like we're always busy. And even when we're sitting still, our mind is busy. Our mind is racing. I forgot to look up the actual number, but you will be surprised how many thoughts go through the actual brain a day. So many thoughts, like our mind is constantly racing, right? But we want to learn to be still. We have to calm and quiet ourselves, right? Yeah, so we're going to calm and quiet ourselves. And see, a lot of those thoughts, like I said, I forgot to look up that number for y'all, my bad. But uh <laughs> forgot to look up the number for y'all. But understand, a lot of those thoughts aren't even the right thoughts. Sometimes we're just replaying things from the past. You see, the mind replays a lot of things. If you fell off of your bike yesterday, chances are you, you know, you may be in a negative space, right? Chances are you're not looking forward to riding your bike tomorrow. You probably won't even try to get on it. But see, if you rely on your imagination of what could, see, stop focusing on what, what went. Hold on, let me slow down a bit. I'm getting a little tongue, tongue twied, tongue twisted, whatever it's called. But you know what I'm trying to say, though. Stop focusing on what went wrong and start focusing on what could go right. You understand what I'm saying? So you fell off your bike yesterday, but if you rely on your imagination, what could go right? What if you put your right foot on the pedal and you take off and you end up biking 30 miles tomorrow and set a new record? Right? Stop relying on your memory and focus on your imagination. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's pray together, man. Lord, we thank you for giving us another wonderful day. We thank you for your word right here. Psalm 62, 5. Let all that I am wait quietly before you. Lord, today we choose to wait quietly before you. Our hope is in you. We want to say we love you so much. We choose to be still. And we choose to continue to have our hope in you. We know that that's a confident, favorable expectation. Because you will always come through. We know you have what's best for us. We trust in you and your way, not our own way. We choose to submit to you and your plan and everything you have for our life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We love you. Amen. 
Hey, love you all so much. If you made it to the end of this video, place a check mark down below. That's right, check in. Click the thumbs up button. Let's know you appreciate the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, click the bell button so you'll be notified every single time a new video is up. New videos every single day, 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. I love you so much, and I will see you on the next video.